Hey Lavish fam, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, so today is Sunday. I am back from vacation and I did not want another day to pass before I loaded another vlog to you guys. So in today's vlog, <laughs> I am gonna give you all a story time. <laughs> so on my way back from Florida, I was sitting in the car thinking like, hmm, which story should I tell y'all next? I got one. <laughs> and this one has bad decisions written all over it. So do not come in my comments telling me what a bad decision and what bad choices I made because baby, I am telling you from the beginning, this is all bad decisions. And I'm just so thankful when I think back on the decisions that I've made over my life that I have been protected for the most part. Now, the ones that happened to me, the, the things that happened to me, the bad things that happened before the age of 18, I'm not responsible for, of course, because you know what I'm saying? Like you can't control certain things. If y'all watched my get to know me vlog, you already know what I'm talking about. But these ones right here, baby, these are all on me. Hold on. Do it look like y'all are out of focus? Do it look like I'm out of focus? Hold on, let me see. Y'all, it's not blurry on y'all end. It's blurry on my end. You know why? Because I don't have all my contacts or my glasses from Zenith. <laughs> That's what it is. I can't see. So Zenith is an online eyeglass company that sells both prescription and non-prescription eyeglasses. They also have sunglasses and they have them for a fraction of the price. So all you have to do is go to their website, which is gonna be linked below with the description code, put in um, whatever you're looking for, whether it's nice glasses, or are you looking for just some nice sunglasses? Like for me, I like my glasses to be not only stylish, I like for them to be a really good comfortable fit and these are both of those so i'll put all my information down below with the discount codes they have a special running for the holidays as well as just one that you can use even after the holidays and if you're looking for some really nice glasses that are going to ship really fast and are custom to you at a fraction of the price that you would pay if you went to one of these local places this is the company for you okay when I tell you I absolutely love these glasses, they make me look super smart. Because <laughs> the story I'm about to tell y'all, baby, <laughs> does not match these glasses, okay? But anyway, let's get on with the story, okay? All right. This story is about 12 years old. 2010 to be exact, okay? All right, so... In 2010, I was single. At the time, me and my girls were living in Illinois and we were living, cause I always gotta give y'all a backstory. I gotta tell y'all a little something before I tell you how stupid I was. <laughs> okay, so it's 2010 and me and the girls were living in the suburbs of Chicago. I was divorced and I had been single for a while now. My commute to work each day was 55 miles each way. I have always been a person who was a morning person. And ever since I was in high school, I've been going to bed about eight, nine, 10 o'clock at the 10 o'clock, I am zonked. Even to this day, I go to bed super early. So dating for me was kind of just not happening because by the time I got home from work, I would be up for work at like four in the morning to be at work by seven, get home, it'd be like five, six o'clock. You try to, you know what I'm saying, do things with your kids and then go to bed, that's it. He had no time for nothing else. So if you all know, my oldest daughter is 24 and I had her a month before I turned 20. So we pretty much grew up together, okay? I was 19 turning 20 a month later. So she and I kind of grew up together and she was always like very beyond her age when it came to a lot of things. So she had kind of been getting on me about like, oh, you're young, you know, you're really pretty, you need to date. I really wasn't for it. And finally, after so many, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, my family or friends and people like that kept saying I needed to date, I decided 
I had no time to like really go anywhere to date. So I tried this popular at the, I don't know if it's still popular now, but it was popular at the time, dating site. Okay. And I would, you know, constantly get, you know, all these messages from guys that were in the Chicago area or even Indiana or close by. And I went on one or two dates Counsel most of them, you know, no, sh I just, I, I just couldn't bring myself to go. So finally, this is the one. So finally I realized maybe the guy for me is not going to be my next door neighbor, AKA he wasn't going to live in Illinois or a surrounding state. So I kind of opened up my search a little bit more. Came across this guy that lived in New York. <laughs> Bad decisions, bad decisions, bad decisions. Okay, red flag, red flag, red flags. So he and I started, and I'm talking like he had about 30 pictures. And I'm telling you, like, they were all like, I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm hitting up my girl, you know, V, and I'm like, oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at these pictures. I was like, oh my goodness, he in my DM, he's, you know, whatever. So I was like, I was, I was like, oh my goodness, this man is fine. Okay. I'm talking like angles. I was like, okay, so he got pictures and all, and he dressed nice and da, 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 da. So she was like, girl, you're going to have to go to his socials. You're going to have to go to his socials so that you can see if this is really him. Went to his socials. We and him, you know, kept talking, kept talking on so on like, you know, the app. And then finally we exchanged numbers and names, you know, so I went to his like, you know, Facebook page and I was like, oh no, nah, girl, this him, this him, these pictures, this is him, this is him, these pictures are all that and some, okay? So we talk, we finally like talk on the phone, Barry White, okay? When I tell you his voice was like Barry White, baby. When I tell you, I was like, Sexual chocolate, when I tell you all of that, he was a, you just, oh my goodness. I was like, he had no kids. He was fine with the fact that I had two kids and that I was divorced. All these red flags now, you you, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like sexy, it just, I mean, dress nice. You know, all these things had a good, had a, you know, decent job. It wasn't like he was like, you know, CEO of nothing, but he was like a manager at this place. He had his own place, you know, he had a car, all of these things, you know what I'm saying? And he was just super, super, and he was educated. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's talked so, he had, you know, say he had never been to jail, all these things, even though, you know what I'm saying? I ain't here to judge you, judge you, but I'm, you know, just looking when to see you, all the things that we look for, you know? So I'm like, he just checking off all of these boxes. And I'm like, you know, wow. So he's like, have you ever been to, you know, New York? Baby, you know, as a single woman, you don't go to no, you don't just jump on a flight and go to New York or go to no other state. You just don't do that. But guess what I did? Went to New York. <laughs> Baby. So anyway... We kept talking. He was like, you know, you should come visit. You've never been here. I had never been in New York. It was on my bucket list. Places to go, you know, da, 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 da. And I was just like, you know what? So, of course, when you got friends who ain't, you know, ain't nothing and they be on some BS, they going to convince you to be on some BS too. So, even though that little person that sits in the back of your head, your conscience and your, you know, like the responsible part of you tells you, not a good idea, not a good idea, not a good idea. I just kind of basically closed that door and was like, that sounds like a good idea. Never was. Never, never, never. I'm just thankful that I'm even here to still tell this story. Because <laughs> I laugh about it now. But when I think about it, when I got there, so let me just back up. Okay, so we talked about it. And I was like, well, I don't really know. And he was like, you know, I'll pay for your ticket. You can stay at my house. I got a one bedroom. I got a, you know, nice couch in the living room. You can sleep on the couch, you know, or you got my bed, whichever one. You know, all of these things that, you know what I'm saying, a normal person would just be like, you know what, this is not a good idea. Me, when well, my dumb ass was like, okay, okay, all right. Knowing I got two daughters at home and they could be without a parent. 
the only parent. But guess what? I went on, packed up my little bag, and went on there for the weekend. So as I'm flying there, of course, the butterflies now set in because the fact is, what if this man is a serial killer? I ain't did no real research. I just looked on freaking Facebook. He could be anybody. What if this somebody else's profile? What if all these what ifs are like kicking in, right? But I'm here now. I mean, like I'm on the airplane and I'm on my way. So I get off the flight, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. I have my cell phone and I'm like, you know, hey, you know, just I'm here. He's like, okay, okay, okay. I'm pulling up. Where are you at? What are you wearing? Voice still sound amazing. So I said, okay, okay. So Lisa's voice is matching, you know, what I'm hearing on the phone. Still could be a serial killer. Who knows, okay? He could be doing anything, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my childhood, you would think I would be afraid of everything. But here I am, taking chances. So as this man is pulling up, I'm on the phone with my girl. She's like, you see him? You see him? I'm like, no, no. I said, oh, wait, wait, wait. I see his car. I see his car. I'm about to go. <sighs> I could see him coming. So I get off the phone and I'm talking. My heart is about to jump out my chest because I'm so freaking nervous. He pulls up. I'm standing on the curb. This man gets out the car and I was like, you got to be kidding me. This man now freaking catfish the hell out of me. Was those his pictures? Yes. Was those his specs, height and all that stuff? Hell no. The way that we women suck in our stomachs and stuff like that on pictures, this man had done freaking sucked in the hell out of his stomach, which to me is not a problem. Don't catfish me. Don't catfish me. He, so he got out and I was like, this is Urkel. And the reason I say that because Stefan was on them pictures, but Urkel was here to pick me up. And I was like, so he comes and he smells great. He hugs me. And I'm like, looking eye to eye. This fool told me he was 5'10". I'm 5'4". How are we looking eye to eye? But I'm here. And I'm trying to like keep my excitement <laughs> on my face. But it's really not there because this ain't who I was. This ain't him. So I'm sitting there like, hey. Oh, my goodness. Baby, I was catfished. And he was like, you know, telling me how pretty I was. And, you know, he's like, oh, my goodness, you look just like your pictures. He's like, do I look like mine? And I was like, to be honest, it's him in those pictures. So I'm like, yeah. But he got all his good angles. And I was like, I want to know who taught you how to take them pictures? Because I'm still working on that. And I ain't there yet. So I'm trying to figure out who be taking your pictures. Because somebody is a professional. Because this ain't you. This, this your twin or this, I'm telling you, Stefana and, and Urkel all the way. So I'm sitting there like, you know what, Nisha, you only here for two nights. You can do this. You can do this. You just, just as long as he don't turn out to be no psycho, you can do this. Okay. I was also, I put my smile on. Cause once again, I ain't never been to New York. This guy is from New York. He got this whole Brooklyn accent. He from, you know, he live in Brooklyn. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got my camera and I'm texting my girl. It's blowing me up. What he look like? Is that him? Da -da -da. So I'm trying my best to not say, save me, you know, and I'm trying my best to be nice because you don't want to be like texting. And then he actually look over and see your text messages and realize, and now you stuck. This man, I paid for my ticket. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be out here stranded. So I'm like, you know, talk to you later. I'm good. So, y'all, the trip started off rocky, okay? So then he took me sightseeing. I took a lot of pictures. He was really, really, really cool. But in the homegirl type of sense. I had already decided, this ain't happening. This is nothing, nothing, nothing. This is, I will, we will never be anything more. I done already decided, I done already figured that out, and it's good. I just want to go home and be safe. That's it. That's I just need to make it through these two days. That's it. So, you know, everything is good. 
we go back to his place after we, you know, run some, you know, he shows me around a bit. We do, you know, some like sightseeing type things. And he stays in these brownstones that are just like the Cosby's. And I was like, oh my goodness, these are just like in the Cosby show. He's like, yeah, you know, whatever. But he stays on the bottom level of one. I didn't realize that they had, they were levels like you know, triplexes and stuff like, I didn't know that. But anyway, the one he lived in was like more on the bottom level and he had a one bedroom. It was, you know, it was nice and clean. It was nice and quaint, you know, whatever. The problem is we decided we were going to call it because I came in that afternoon, Friday afternoon, we were going to call it a night starting in the next day. So I was like, no, I don't need, you know, I don't need your bed. I can sleep on the couch. I'm perfectly fine with it. No, we do. No, we, nope. I'm good. He's like, well, my bed's big enough. Nope. Mm -mm, maybe we're not sleeping together. You you take your bed. I'm going to take this couch. I'm in there on the couch. And when I tell you this man snore like freaking Santa Claus or somebody, I thought like all, when I tell you I was up the entire night, I was like, this man literally must be about to die. I never, my big daddy didn't even snore like this. I said, oh my goodness. I was literally like, how is he sleeping through this? How is he sleeping through this? No, he's okay. Because I had never heard nobody snore like that. I've heard old men snore, and I've heard young people snore. I've heard my mama snore. But when I tell you this was a different type of snore, so here I'm in there like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. How are these people upstairs not hearing this? When I tell you this man snore like no other, the next morning I get up, and he's like, How'd you sleep? How was the couch? I was like, oh, the couch was fine. But I'm saying to myself, dude, they ain't had no sleep. How you sleep? When I I was literally like this man. This is before my, my nursing days. Because now I realize this man has sleep apnea. And he needs a mask. He definitely needs a, 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 a CPAP. Maybe even a BiPAP. I don't even know. But anyway, next day, everything is fine. We having a great time. I'm talking like two girlfriends. Okay. We had a great time, but the whole time this man, I'm like just sitting here looking at him like, you know what? This man has literally catfished the hell out of me. Like, so we go back, we had plans on going to this really nice dinner. So we end up getting dressed, you know, dressed up pictures, fine, everything great. Once again, he's hitting his angles. He's even hitting my angles, taking pictures of me because we're no pictures together, baby. Ain't no pictures being put, ain't no pictures together because I already knew this This what, this is This is it. We get back. Everything's fine. We done had some wine. He goes in for a kiss. I'm like, baby, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. And then I started thinking like, what if? You know, it's like, you know, what if? What if now because I have rejected him, things go completely left? Nope, not at all. Nothing at all. He, I was just like, I'm just not ready for that. We just met. Da, 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 da. You know, he was fine. Everything was good. Another sleepless night because this man was calling all types of hogs, cows, bears, sheep, whatever else that's out there in the wild. He was calling them. That Sunday morning, we went to breakfast. He took me back to the airport. And yeah, I never saw him again not one time since. And he would, we would talk on the phone a little bit here and there. And he's like, you know, you know, I was thinking I would come to Chicago and I was like, no. Mm -mm. And then finally he just came out and asked me, are you not attracted to me? Did I do something? You catfished me. <laughs> you catfished me. And it's not all about the looks, but there was no chemistry face to face, not at least on my part, because like I stated, this man, I mean, just totally different face to face. And there was just no chemistry. And what, you know, so I was just like, first of all, Misha, have you lost your F in mind? You just freaking caught a plane to see a dude that you barely, that you don't even know. And you're a single parent of two daughters. And then second of all, don't nobody, can't nobody trace you. Like what ifs, the what ifs, the more I think about some of the stuff I've done, the more I realize how effed up my decisions <laughs> sometimes have been, okay? And I have many more stupid decision choices that I've made within my life. But this is just one of the ones that just completely have taken the cake, okay? So with that being said, 
Y'all don't got to tell me. Y'all ain't even got to tell me because I already know. When I tell y'all my husband saved my life because I was making so many dumb decisions. And this wasn't a long time ago now. This was just 12 years ago, okay? 12 years ago, I was making these dumb decisions. But you know what? I'm going to wrap this up because y'all already know I did something stupid. <laughs> and I'm here to laugh and tell y'all about it today. But anyway, if y'all are interested, codes for... Glasses will be in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.